Alrighty, welcome back to your channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today we're going to be talking about Eugene Yacuni. Um, this is going to be kind of a, a tough video, but I do think that one that's important and um, one that I do want to make, something that I do want to talk about. If you're not familiar with who Eugenia is, I think most of you probably are, uh, but Eugenia has been popular on YouTube for quite a long time. And the, the start of her popularity was, a lot of it was based on the way that she looked. So Eugenia was always a lot slimmer than most other people that you would see on the internet. And pretty much almost immediately when she started posting videos, people started talking about whether or not she had an ED and there was a lot of speculation around that. And that was like, that was a, a big part of, of her presence online. Uh, but not the only thing, right? She made a lot of videos and she had, she had a legit fan base. And I'm sure a lot of people that had, didn't really care much about the ED stuff, didn't really care much about anything like that. They just liked her for her personality and the stuff that she made and, and, and her sense of humor and all that stuff, right? It wasn't only about that. But that was a big, you know, a big part of it, I would say. And a few years ago, actually, uh, Shane, John Shane Dawson did a documentary kind of talking about Eugenia and then trying to ask like the hard questions. And if you guys remember that era of Shane Dawson, um, he was like at, I don't want to say peak popularity, but um, like his documentary videos that he would make would like a lot of times like break the internet, right? And this one was a huge deal. A lot of people were talking about it. And I think that that really kind of pushed Eugenia back into the limelight where a lot of people maybe had just not really thought about her that much, not had, hadn't really been talking about her that much. And that kind of really uh, put it at the forefront for a lot of people. At least this is my perspective, right? If you're a huge fan of Eugenia, that might not be how you feel. But as someone that was just aware of who this person was, that's the way that it kind of worked for me. I kind of knew who this person was. And then when Shane Johnson talked about her, it was like, oh, yeah. And then, again, sparked into people talking about whether or not there is an ED or not. And um, since then, I think Eugenia has been a little bit more open talking about the fact that, you know, she did have anorexia or she does have anorexia and she has, um, you know, stopped like denying it for a long time. It was like, oh no, I just, I eat a, I eat a normal amount. And, and for a long time, people were like, mm, I don't really know about that. But basically since Eugenia has been popular on the internet, there have been people that have, I don't want to say detractors, but that have been worried and have made videos and made posts. And there's been a lot of speculation and a lot of the, that speculation isn't the nicest. And this is something that I see a lot in the space that I am more familiar with, right? The fat acceptance space is a lot of people will, in my opinion, feign caring about someone's health to be an asshole. <laughs> that's, that's the best way for me to say it. And that's something that you see a lot with Eugenia. And I've always been really worried about making videos because one, I'm obviously not an expert on this. And I know that there are a lot of people making videos on her. There are a lot of posts about her that aren't very nice. And I always worry that I'm going to add to that. And that's not what I am trying to do. But it's also something that a lot of people ask me about. And there are so many parallels between Eugenia and someone that might be, you know, massively overweight. Um, you know, someone that, you know, people might say is, is eating themselves to death, right? And so there's there are so many parallels that that connection is just undeniable to me, at least. Now, recently, Eugenia has gotten even thinner and a lot of people have become even more like, yo, something is going on. This is dangerous. This is bad. And so one of those people is a creator that I genuinely respect a lot. Um, I've never met them, but uh, they go by Of Herbs and Altars or Dorian. And they've made videos on Eugenia in the past. And I have commented on those videos before. Now, there was a video that Herbs and Altars made recently that I thought was very sad, but also incredibly beautiful. They also look very cool, but that's besides the point. Hello, you wonderful citizen of the internet, and welcome to what I strongly suspect will be the last or thereabouts video I ever make on Eugenia Cooney. Looking back, I think my talking about her has averaged out to roughly one video a year. And I felt like it did such a great job of being real, sharing an opinion that isn't happy, but not tearing someone down. And... I just wanted to share a little bit of that video, but then share my thoughts. Eugenia stopped maintaining her weight several months ago. Like I'd always said she's, she's kind of, yes, she's very sick, but she has maintained her weight for a long time. She's not going into a death spiral. She's maintained it. She's got some element of control over it. That 
has gone. She's visibly in the midst of a parachute-free death spiral. Whether she is actively seeking to end her life, as I believe my friend was when she went through the same thing, or whether she's simply overwhelmed by her disorder to a degree she never was before, I cannot know, and it's not for me to speculate. The first thing that pops out to me is it's clear that Dorian has been through something similar. They say it in the video also. But it's clear that this isn't coming from a place of, I told you so. It's not coming from a place of, you know, I'm so right. It's not, it's not coming from anything like that. It's coming from genuine concern. And that's something that I think is important. And I think that it's awesome that the internet can have that. Because as so many of us know, the internet is also full of people that are just so mean and so hateful and vitriolic and spiteful and, and, and rude and mean and just you know what i'm talking about right so to turn to eugenia's harshest critics i suggest you too look in the mirror and evaluate the incoming loss of someone so central to your bitter little world those of you who spend all day collecting screenshots to pour over to post to reddit and rake and shred with venomous claws and bitter scathing words she's going she is going, you're being left here, and the last thing you fucking did was tear her to shreds. And I think the a lot of the stuff that Dorian says just rings true, and I think it rings even more true because, at least to me it does, because this is someone that has battled similar battles, right? And I think that, that their video was just unbelievable. One thing that I really, really appreciated about Dorian's video where they, they talked about how they, they have made videos on Eugenia in the past, but they've always kind of said that, yes, Eugenia is very, very thin. Yes, Eugenia is, you know, this isn't healthy, but they still have time. And in the early days, roughly six years ago, I felt that much of the hysteria around Eugenia was really unhelpful and also kind of unwarranted. Yes, her appearance was shocking, but when you've been around anorexic people for the majority of your life, you come to know what is and isn't survivable. Maintaining a low weight in your early 20s is seriously ill-advised, but the thing is, it's rarely fatal. I always said, though, that if Eugenia was still in this state in her late 20s to early 30s, that would be the danger zone. And I feel like I have to speak up now because everything going on with Eugenia that I've seen lately, I've seen before. And I've seen it in a friend who is no longer with us. And as someone that doesn't know much about this disease, doesn't know much about anorexia, doesn't know much about that, I was just like, well, I'm going to listen to what this person says and I'm going to, you know, defer to their like expertise, I guess. And so I've always felt the same way. Um, and I've always been, I don't know exactly how Dorian feels. I, I, I would be surprised if we disagreed on this, but I've always said that like, I don't think that Eugenia should be kicked off the internet. I don't think Eugenia should like not have her channel because of how thin she is. And that's, I've always been that way, even with people that are massively overweight, right? Where people are like, oh, if you're, you know, 500 pounds and you're doing a mukbang, that, that means that you should have your channel deleted. And I just don't agree with that. I don't think that that's fair. Um, if someone wants to do that, they have the right, in, in my opinion, to do that. If they want to eat, a lot of food on camera and they're really large. I don't think that YouTube should decide that, you know, you're basically, you're too large to eat food on camera. And so therefore we are going to take your channel away. Just the same with Eugenia, right? Um, they, I don't think that they should say you're too thin and you're not allowed to have a YouTube channel because of how thin you are. Now, if Eugenia was literally making videos on how to, you know, have an ED or how to be anorexic or how to, you know, how to anything like that, then yes, of course, I would say that's, that is, is not okay, right? Same thing with like, you know, something dangerous about overeating. I don't, I don't even know what that would be, but like, then I would, I would agree with that. But I think if you're just sharing your life and you just happen to be massively overweight or you happen to be very, very thin, I don't think that that's grounds to not be able to live that life online because you are, you are so different from other people. And I want to make it clear. I do understand the people that are genuinely concerned and I'm, I am sure beyond the shadow of a doubt, a good amount of the people that are leaving comments are genuinely concerned. I understand like what it's like to see someone at, in the state that Eugenia's is in. Um, I recently went through something similar where a family member of mine, um, you know, looked very similar is, is what I'm going to put to how Eugenia looks right now. And you know, it wasn't their choice, but 
I understand, like, if you've seen that and then you see Eugenia, it, it is a gut punch, right? It's a gut reaction. It is scary. Like, it is. It just, it, it is for me at least. I don't like to look at that stuff. Like, I don't, I don't like to look at it. it. It makes me sad is the best way that I can put it. Not because I have anything against Eugenia, but just my own life experience. And so I understand that there are genuinely people out there that are genuinely concerned and have actual, like, really do want to help. But it sucks that there are so many other people that they just want to dunk on someone, right? They just want to get their the, get the views from the video. They just want to make the you know make that comment and get a bunch of likes or make that Reddit post. Like it, one thing that Dorian said so so well in their video was like, you know, the comment that you leave could be the last thing that this person sees. If you interact with Eugenia or her social media or her Reddit threads from now on. Make it kind. Realize those words may be the last thing she ever reads. And is that something that you want to do? And I think that's important just with the internet in general. Like, I'm not trying to lecture anybody, but we, it's so important to just understand like how much impact your words have. And I have tried to do my best uh, when I make my videos to not attack anybody. Like, yes, there are people that I'll disagree with and there will be things that I, you know, I'm like, yo, I, I disagree with that, but I'm never gonna try and like tear someone down and just absolutely just destroy someone's self-esteem, right? That's not something that I ever wanna do. And it is really easy to do that, especially on YouTube because that gets you so many more views. It gets you so much more like, like engagement, so many more people leave comments when you are like just mean. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it, but that is the truth. And so it, it literally is something that you have to actively decide not to do because you know that these things will help you grow, right? And so I just hope that anyone that's watching this, if you have someone in your life or, you know, if you see someone online that you maybe disagree with or something like, I think you can disagree with someone, but understand that like your comments, they, they do make an impact on people, you know? And so do your best to just be kind, as kind as you can be. And if you can't, you know, I think Dorian said basically in their video, then just be quiet, right? Especially in this, this instance, right? With how serious things are. And Dorian talked a lot about like, you know, for the longest time, Dorian always said that she, f they, they felt that, um, Eugenia had more time and now it seems that they don't think that anymore um, because of like the age that Eugenia is now, um, you know, in the thirties and the fact that they are losing weight again, even more. Um, a lot of times that's a recipe for disaster basically. And so, you know, I just, I just wanted to make this video. I, I know it's kind of all over the place. I'm sorry. My brain is kind of all over the place right now. Um, and, but I did, I just, I don't know. It spoke to me. This whole situation spoke to me. And so hopefully this video just helps you think a little bit, you know, about how you act online. Um, yeah, that's it. I don't know. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.